Hey y'all, so today I figured I'd bring you yet another intimate camera angle. Uh, first I gave you crotch cam, now I give you bedside camera. And I figured if Paul Harrell can do a video in his pajamas shooting from bed, I can do a video from my bed as well. So today what I'm going to cover is nightstand gun. And basically I want to show what I have as a nightstand gun, how I have it set up. And I guess I should start out by saying that I do consider there to be a difference between a nightstand gun and a home defense gun. Traditionally I would consider a home defense gun to be more of a rifle, something like that. Whereas a nightstand gun is more of a... Uh, more of a handgun, more of something smaller, something that you can, if you're awoken in the middle of the night, by a bump in the night, you can go and investigate and have something more than your teddy bear to fend off possible attackers. So with that, let's go uh, see what's in my nightstand. Okay, so here we are at my nightstand, and forgive the weird lighting and, and angle, but we're going to try and make the best of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the drawer and show you everything in the drawer and go over why it's there and why it's the way it is. Now I should start out by saying the most one of the good uh, things I would do is if you're setting up a nice stand gun, is make sure to set everything up so it's in your top drawer. Reason being is the last thing I want to have to do if I'm have if I'm elected that I'm the one that has to go and figure out what that noise is. Um, I don't want to, last thing I want to have to do is be leaning over into a nightstand trying to get everything out of the bottom drawer. Uh, so everything's right in the top drawer, easily accessible, whether I'm standing next to the nightstand, still in bed, or whatever. So with that being said, let's open up this nightstand and see what's in it. Alright, and there's everything in the nightstand drawer. Uh, let's go over everything, explain why it's the way it is. So we'll start out with the gun, since it's the most interesting thing. And it's a Glock 19X. This is currently sitting in a Dragon Hide Concealment Holster. Um, I keep this gun in a holster for several reasons. First of reason is, while it's in the drawer, this has a round chambered in it, 100% ready to go at all times. I highly recommend that because, especially if you're wake up in the middle of the night, having to rack a slide or worry about if you did or didn't rack a slide is the last thing I want to do. Um, and also the threat of making more noise. You know, the sound of a gun being cocking is uh, pretty noticeable, and some people will say that it's a good deterrent for scaring people away. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'd rather not make the noise and find out. So, um, but on top of that and having it protected, the um, other great thing about this is, say I have to go and inspect that sound and figure out what it is, this, this holster can easily be tucked, gun and all, in a, in a waistband without a belt or anything else on, and... Uh, solves the problem of if I need to put the gun somewhere other than my hands. Now one thing I would say is if you can get a shoulder rig for your gun I would recommend that even over this reason being because a shoulder rig it doesn't matter what you wearing or aren't wearing um, you can have it on your person without worry. So now the gun. Uh, standard Glock 19X pretty much factory. I added a, a light to it. The reason I like the Glock 19X for home defense is this comes standard with tritium night sights. Don't know how well it shows up in the light, but they are there. And it's a 17 plus 1 standard capacity. It has a rail. I can mount a flashlight. This says Streamlight TLR1 HL. And it's a very nice flashlight. I'm quite fond of it. And I did a review on that as well. But um, the nice thing about this is low recoil. It's not nearly as loud as some other uh, self-defense calibers. And with the chances are you're going to be firing indoors. While it doesn't really matter at that point in time, 10 years down the road, your hearing might thank you. So, um, and again, because it's 9mm, the other thing is if you're shooting and you miss, which might be a possibility, it limits the amount of walls and stuff that it's going to go through in your house, and that is something to consider um, if you're engaging a home intruder. Uh, so yeah, I'm really fond of this as a home defense gun. Uh, nice full-size grip, again, really nice gun for home defense. Um, uh, now as far as flashlights, I recommend having both a, a weapon-mounted light and a handheld light if possible. If you can only have one or the other, a handheld light is a must. 
But let's move this gun away now that we've talked about the gun and talk about what else is in here. So as I mentioned, a handheld flashlight I consider to be a must. This is a Olight SR1 Paton 2 and decent little flashlight goes up to a thousand lumens and um, you must have almost, I almost agree, you must have um, a home defense flashlight. A home defense flashlight is almost more important than a home defense gun. Reason being, you're going to use this flashlight a lot more than you're ever going to use that gun. No matter what, I can guarantee you that. Um, especially if you have to go and find out what's going on, maybe, you know, there's something knocking at the door or, or who knows what's going on. You think you think you heard a window break. Who knows what it is? Um, I would much rather point just a flashlight at, you know, the neighbor's dog that happened to, um, you know, be barking at the front door than a gun and a light. And also, you know, while, while if it's a dog, you might not get in, in as much trouble. But if it happens to be, you know, the kid from down the block uh, banging on your door to ask if you can you know, call 911 because, you know, somebody, somebody fell off the roof or something and needs help, um, you know, <laughs> you're going to get in a lot less trouble having this pointing at them than a Glock. So home defense flashlight, really good idea. And keeping it in a nice stand where it's accessible, also really good idea. Um, the other thing is I like this flashlight because it has a lanyard. The reason I like the lanyard is when I put this on, right, I'm grabbing all my stuff to go check out what's going on. I can put this around my wrist, and if I need to, I can just drop it like that. I don't have to worry about actually uh, losing it. So, lanyard, really good idea. Next, and I guess finally, is I have spare magazines in here. Uh, I have three spare magazines. I usually have at least two or three loaded spare magazines. And reason being is, well, you're going to check out that pump in the night, and nine times out of ten, it's not going to be anything. It's going to be absolutely nothing, and you're going to go back to bed, but you never know. It might actually be something uh, something of threat, and spare ammo is never a bad thing. Um, I usually keep at least the two uh, normal factory mags that came with the gun, right? And I keep one of them in this little pocket thing because, again, if you're wearing sleep pants, you can stick this in your uh, pocket. Right, you can stick this in your pocket. No, no belt needed. No anything needed. Uh, granted, if you've got the gun and your spare mag in there, and you're wearing loose-fitting sleep pants, you might run into some issues, and you might want to reconsider that. But um, I like the option of being able to stick it in my pocket if that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I keep them in here, right? And the other thing I keep in here, and I'm sure this you picked up on quite quickly, is I keep a, a fun stick in here. A 33 rounder lock uh, extendo, as they call them. Reason I keep that in here is, well, because you never know when the zombies might be busting in your door, and you need a little extra firepower. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I don't consider um, it to take up much space, and I'd rather have at least one loaded in there rather than uh, rather than none. And again, if you know, if someone is, if people are breaking in. Uh, might not be a bad idea but mostly that's just in there just just to say I do so that's pretty much what I keep in my nightstand again I'll pan up to uh, all the stuff that I keep in my nightstand and um, that's pretty much it you know the nice thing about a nightstand gun is generally I don't have to get out of bed to access it um, you know again a home defense gun I consider to be it can be the same thing but I generally consider it to be a different gun you know, that's generally something you might have to go to get, whereas a nightstand gun is something you don't have to go to get. Um, but that's, that's what I have. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them, and have a good day.